Oh, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to curve the ball in Nintendo Switch Sports Soccer. It is a kind of an important technique that is actually kind of hard to master. I haven't even mastered it myself. But before I actually show you, I do want to make it so things will be clear. So, when you pass the ball, for example, when I get the ball, I'm going to pass it to my teammate. I'm just going to wait for the ball to come to me. Kick it, please. Here, please. Okay. I'm going to wait for it to kick it. And if I'm there, so basically, you press ZR or Z. L, whatever you choose, you, you pass it to another player, and sometimes when you hit the ball, um, it will pass, it will curve, which you would think, well, that's the only way you can curve it, but it turns out there's actually an, an actual different way to do it, and actually you can do it manually. Look, I'm just going to show you. Oh my gosh. Alright, here, I'm going to pass it to this guy. I know it typically curves when you're really far away. I saw it before. It passes when it's uh, really far away. Like. You know, might as well keep the game playing, so. I'll show you in the training month that might as well see if I can actually full curve passing. It's very easy. Sometimes it will curve, sometimes it won't. So just mention that. By the way, these are meant for easy so that way the computer won't take the ball away from me. You might as well finish the game right now if you can. Oh darn it, I was being too much. We might finish the game, I'm promising. But then we actually get to the actual stuff. It's just kind of a recap if I can curve the ball passing, you know. It happens, it's pretty, I would say it's automatic. It's pretty weak. Close. Ah, close. Yeah, look at that. You see that? I curved it, but that was on a pass. Okay, I know we could have finished it quickly, but we're actually going to show you. We're going to go to the training mode and actually show how it pulls off. I'm going to show you a couple tips you can improve in soccer. Because, I mean, I'm not completely master of sport, but I've gotten much better. So, I recommend you practice in training mode. You can technically practice online. Um, you can do that, but hey, remember, since it's the matchmaking, you don't have much time. So, here's, here's the deal. So, for the actual curve, it's good to curve the ball manually. Uh, let me just... Okay, here we go. So, to do it is that I'm going to show you how it will look if I can do it well. Alright, here it goes. See? Look at that. It curves upwards. But you might ask, let's see if I can try to make it to the left. Look at that. Another curve to the left. Another one. 
You can do it in many different types of directions. You can do it in... You can do it not just upwards, but also um, you can do it sideways. Uh, you can also do it downwards. It has many different angles. So, But for me, I'm more comfortable doing this, but I also have to master, for example, let's see if I can do it. I got it, I got it, look at that, look at that. Look at that curve. Okay, so here is the action on how to curve. Let's just go back to position. Oh, come back. Thank you. All right, so let me show my hand for a second. So, so one of your Joy-Cons, let's see if I can show it to you, right? This is my Joy-Con. Now, you typically kick it upwards, downwards, sides, whatever. But to curve the ball, you must twist the controller like this. Wow, eh? let's see if we can pull this off again. I just, let's go back. Ball stop, okay. So if we can do it correctly, let's see. You twist, you have to twist. It's all about twisting it fast. Now you can obviously do it with your other hand. It's all about the twisting. And also, different, depending on the angle too. For example, look at, before you hit it, you have to look on which way you're hitting it to twist your arm. Let's see. Like that. Like that, that's another curve. You can do side curve, if I can. Oh, look at that. A goal. So basically in, in retro spec, you have to curve, or well, twist your arm in order to manually do it. Now, I do have to know a key note. I haven't figured it out in leg strap soccer. How do you exactly make the ball curve every time? So it is technically possible to pull it off in leg strap soccer, but I just think we haven't found yet, at least for attendance recording, how do you curve the ball manually? And even if you curve it, since the ball has a lot of power on your kick, it's gonna curve very little. But the reason why it's very important to master this because it can lead to absolutely crazy super goals. Because if you master them, you could completely, look at that, that's a side one. You could completely fool your opponents with the curve since the curve is extremely intense. And, and here's the thing, and for goalie, you have to be careful because if people curve it, you have to be very careful because the curve is so intense in this one so if you if you are the one who wants to make goals i recommend you to practice and try to master the curves because curves can lead to some incredible things now that doesn't to say you have to use it every single time because let's say you're wide open right you're wide open for the shot your prime time you can miss if you don't do it correctly, or even if you do it correctly. Right here, come back, ball. All right, hold up. So, even if you do it correctly, you might oh, you might curve it a little too much. Let's see. Because, like, let's say I do an upward one. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard. I still have to master it. But sometimes when you're trying to do an upward kick, you might curve it like that. See, that's too much. So sometimes use it in your own benefit. If it's wide open, then just go for the kick. Never mind. So just go for the kick. If not, I do. If you want to get a guaranteed hit, just kick it like that. Like in this spot over here, near the goal post, let's say I wanna to try to kick it here. That's too high. So, preferably you wanna kick it here. Cause it's so hard for the goalie to get the ball if they're like right here. Then you're gonna have so much time on doing it. Another tip I could help you, that can help you out with curving sometimes, is to make sure to kind of play smart. 
You use your walls to your advantage. Uh, you see? That was very close. So, if you use your walls, can help you. So, you can use the walls to kind of slowly but surely keep the ball safe. From some, and then you kick it. Look at that. Make sure to master it. And another important tip is spamming. Yes, spamming. Spamming helps you a lot because it maintains you a lot in the air. And spamming can actually work you from people getting too close up to the ball and steal it from you. So make sure to master it because I haven't. Like here, I I'm going to show you. Yeah, if you don't do it correctly, you're going to miss it completely. For example, I'm just going to kick it upward. Oh my gosh, I did it better. So, you have to master it, otherwise um, you might lose it completely, or people might steal it from you. It, it, it's crazy. But, before we end this video, just to make sure, curve, you have to practice in many different ways to curve your ball. Because it can lead to different types of angles, like down, upward, and inside I believe. Like that. How do you do it? Now remember, just to show you in hand, this is uh, upward, sideways. I would like to do it this or this. If you want to curve it like a side, like let's see if we can do it here. You can also do that. So make sure to twist your arm. This also applies to your left arm. Like that. It's all about curving it. Master it. And you'll be becoming the best goal, the best goal scorer in no time. Well, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.